you know, my main job for my career is being an orchestra and band conductor. And, you know, I truly believe that if business people were to spend some time watching great conductors in rehearsal and going to concerts or watching them on YouTube, but with a thought in mind of not listening to the enjoyment of the music, watching what they're doing and why they're doing it, the lessons you learn from this are amazing because at the end of the day, the difference between most business situations and music situations is music is immediate and the leader is working with their group in the moment. A conductor is on the podium giving verbal or giving nonverbal communication, showing their interpretation of the music to the musician, which is the why of why they're there. And the musicians are the what? Creating the sound. And it's an instantaneous return. You immediately know the, pro the, the, the outcome of your product, which is not created by you as the leader. It's created by the people in front of you. And if it's not working, you have to figure out why in the moment and change it, fix it, do what's necessary to make that moment for the audience rise to a higher level and it's happening at the exact same time. I'm not giving a directive and then waiting a week and seeing what the product was. It's happening in, in real time. And what's amazing is uh, to give people an idea of the, if you wanna call it the stress that a professional musician works under. You know, a, a basketball player can make 70% of their free throws and be considered a great free throw, play, free throw, free throw shooter or acceptable free throw shooter. Would you pay money to go to a professional orchestra where they only played 70% of the notes correct? No way. <laughs> that team, when you think about it now, you're going to an orchestra concert, a rock concert, whatever it is, you're hearing music performed what is being perceived as pristine, flawless. And that team of people is creating that product while you watch them do it. If a business person can't learn from that, then they're not paying attention to what's happening. In front of them. <laughs> it's an amazing moment. And I think there's, I mean, that's such a great you know, closing point for us today that, you know, maybe you are in an environment, right, where what happens is instantaneous. Maybe somebody is uh, in an environment where they're a teacher and what they do with students, virtual or in person, it's instantaneous, right? It's like a conductor. But for those people that might be implementing a strategy in an organization or something that, what if they had the sensitivity to be so aware of their team and what was happening, like a conductor is, right? Like, like even like a coach is though, while the game is being played, to be so aware about what's happening with your team members and your teammates, right? Whether it doesn't matter what sport you look at, if and if it's the quarterback or the the star player on a on a basketball you know floor, but if you think about a quarterback, right now we're in football season, they're so aware of what's happening instantaneously on the field. What if you're a teammate out there watching this? Are you that aware? Are you that sensitive to what's happening around you, to, to the emotions, to the performance? When you talk about the why and the what, there is this underlying awareness. Is everybody on the same page of music, right, as you're talking about? Is everybody responding to what's happening? Is the leader in that in tuned to keeping people focused you know, to the why and your client, your student, your community has been impacted positively because you are creating a culture of excellence.